This morning, people in Atlanta are starting their week after another violent weekend, and police say solutions to stop it are already in the works. Police incident reports show officers responded to at least five shooting calls just from Saturday to Sunday. At least 14 people were shot, many of them young. This morning, eight people are recovering following a drive by shooting at a gas station. At last check, two victims are still in critical condition. Now, this was the scene on Northside Drive at around 1245 Sunday morning. The Shell gas station sits right next to the Diamond Club near I-75. Now, police say 12 people were outside of the gas station when a car pulled up and started shooting. Six of the victims are women between the ages of 16 and 21, while two men were also shot. Police say they do have a description of the suspect's vehicle and surveillance video, but they're not releasing it just yet. And less than five hours later, police found two women and a girl shot at a home on McDaniel Street. Police say one of the women had gotten into an argument with a man inside the home. The man left, then fired shots back into the house. And that's not to mention at least three other shooting calls over the weekend. One on Mount Zion Road, a 17 year old boy died. So this all fuels an ongoing conversation about solutions. Poli people want to know what Atlanta police are doing to try to stop all this. Bringing in more officers is at the top of the list. The department is actively working on it. In fact, this weekend they had a recruiting event and shared this message. And we're looking forward to more recruitment events as we work vigorously to make sure that we meet those numbers and expectations of hiring new officers. When you look around the city, you see new developments going up everywhere. Uh, and we know that we need to ensure that public safety is always number one in the city of Atlanta. The department says it had record turnout for a hiring event in Lenox in March. They're looking to hire 250 new officers by the end of the year.